Uh, listen, I've come across a piece of information. Have you? And uh, it's a combination of reading my uh, defence journals oh, yeah. and information from my friends in the... Naval Intelligence. Exactly. Really? Guess... Surely they could get you a pass on the old uh, oil rig uh, practice. Well, I'm, uh, I'll have a word with them if, yeah. we, if, we, uh, if we firm that one up. I'll have a word with them. Yeah. Now, uh, do you know what's going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen. Soldiers of the future yeah. will have... Um, what they're going to do is they're going to capture pigeons. Because mm. you know why you have homing pigeons and all that kind of stuff? Why you have them? Yeah. Well, they exist. Because they find their way home. Well, they are homing pigeons. That's, that's, what, why, that's, what, I'm saying. Know, that's they, what I'm saying. But they don't have to be trained to be homing pigeons, do they? No, they, they, do it, no, exactly. they just do it as a matter of course. Well, what scientists have done is they've mm. now found the key part of the pigeon's brain yeah. that has the homing instinct. Yes. They're going to cut it out of the pigeon's brain right. and they're going to implant it into soldiers' brains. Why? So that when they're on the battlefield yeah. and they get to disorientated, yeah. they know exactly which direction they should be, you know, going in and fighting in and all this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? That's ridiculous. No, it's not. It's not. Why would you bother sticking something in a soldier's brain? Because it's like putting a, it's like putting a compass in a why, soldier's head. Well, why wouldn't you just use GPS? No, you don't need to anymore. You don't need well, to. Yeah, but you would, would rather use... If somebody said to you, yeah. you, know, you, know, you go on holiday, right? Yes. Um, now, just in case you don't find your way back, yeah. uh, here's a mobile phone yeah. that's got a navigation system on it, or mm. we could operate on your brain and stick yeah. something inside right. it from a pigeon. Well, <laughs> no, I, I don't know you're laughing at. This is... This, this, <laughs> This is a massive new development <laughs> in modern warfare. It's not. It's like something to do with some kind of Frankenstein's no. uh, medicine no. cabinet. No, Supposing you were captured... That's why do you think you've got, a, you know, a, a sat-nav? Suppose it... No, 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 you don't understand. You might be a captured soldier yeah. locked up in some barren jail or prison. Oh, what, you mean they might have taken your device away from exactly. you? Exactly, and yeah. then you break out, and mm. then to get back to base camp... Well, most you soldiers know, you, have you, probably been given a you, basic no. training in navigation. I mean, my father, for example, yeah. when he was a navigator in the RAF... You know, all they well, had... He was bombing Canada. Yeah, he wasn't bombing Canada. Well, the he never is... bombed anything in Europe, no, did he? he didn't bomb anything, no. because by the time he qualified, the mm. war was over. Oh, yeah, yeah he came but in a bit did, late then, They did, did do some mm. practice runs. The mm. point is that, you know, mm. he used to damp navigate by the stars. Yes. And that's what people in ships navigate used to do. by the stars. Right, and you can navigate by the stars. Right, listen to what this. What do you mean, right? No, no listen, I'm telling no, to tell you. No, I'm... I'm telling you that that's how it's done. Oh, yeah, but so I, if I... you're a soldier and you're likely to be caught behind enemy lines, yeah. you can use the stars I've... to navigate. I've got an advance on that. I've got an advance on that. Well, why would you cut something out of a pigeon and put it into your brain? Because it works. Magnetic navigation... So what's happened to you? Don't be ridiculous. Magnetic navigation yeah. is uh, unique to animals. It's found in creatures as varied as salmon and monarch butterflies, OK? This has been oh, yeah. known for decades. So you can easily operate on a monarch butterfly yeah. brain. Yeah, that's right. It's been known you for... Need some very small instruments. The, it's been known for decades, but how to do it has remained one of the puzzles of biology. But now scientists at Peking University... Where are you reading ...found this from? the protein bundle buried in the cells of pigeons' brains, <laughs> OK? And in the brains of monarch butterflies... Yeah. And it binds their brains to atoms and uses them to snap you've got navigation no idea, molecules. You've got no idea what you're talking I about. I do, I do. And, and, and it, um, it binds the uh. elements of their brain, uh, iron atoms, and uses them to snap navigation molecules, so, which what are you face talking north. About? <laughs> navigation <laughs> yeah, molecules yeah. that face north. The navigation molecules so, in, a, in, in so the pigeon's they, brain so, face north. Yeah, well, are they going to take the pigeon's brain uh, part out and put it straight into a soldier's yes, brain? Or are yes, they going to use, are, yeah. they gonna use no. it to clone something bigger? No, 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 no. The, the part of the pigeon's brain which you're going to take out is known as the MAG-R element, yeah. OK? And they take the MAG-R it's element out... It's not very out. big a pigeon's brain, is it? No. I mean, once you take something out of it, there's not much well, left. That's the whole point. And well, how does a pigeon get home? What? After the operation. <laughs> <laughs> You're so ridiculous. <laughs> they kill the pigeon before they operate on its brain, Why? you idiot. That doesn't seem very fair. Well, it's, I'm sorry, but you have to sometimes make the sacrifice for the good of human being. You know, homo sapien. Right. Now then, so the magar bit is taking out the pi pigeon's brain. Right. It is so magnetic. Taking the pigeon. It is so magnetic. It's so magnetic. It sticks to the desk. It, right, here, I'll get this. Right. When they were operating well, on the first... get this rubbish? Hang, hang, hang. <laughs> <laughs> Will you just take this seriously? I'll try. This... <laughs> no, seriously. All right, go on. <laughs> I, ca I can't... I can't operate seriously if you won't take... Right, what, what happened was... Now, you, you're going to mock this. What happened was... <laughs> no. When they took the first bit of the pigeon's magnetic brain out... Right. It was so magnetic, yeah. it shot off the table and attached itself to the fridge door. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you sure this wasn't some kind of robo pigeon they're talking about? No. This is the most ridiculous no. story you've no, ever told. No, it's not. It's not. They they found exactly the most magnetic Which piece of the brain. Which army is going to do this, by the way? Which army is going to do it? Well, all, mo- all, all modern armies are going to do it. That's right. All modern armies. Yeah. Um, and then and then. They're putting out in the FT. Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> and then after that, they had to they had to uh, undergo the operations in non-magnetic rooms because the brains kept sticking to bits of metal in the room. What's a magnetic room? Well, a, no, a non-magnetic. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, a non-magnetic room. You better get out room. of this room. It might be magnetic. No, honestly. Well, you mean a room with no metal in it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they had to do it in wooden rooms because if they didn't, <laughs> <laughs> what's your problem? <laughs> Because if they didn't... Where are you going to get a wooden room full of dead pigeons? Well, you make a wooden room, don't you? You, you make know, one? Yeah, you make, like, a you know, special room <laughs> with wood. <laughs> it seems, seems perfectly... It seems perfectly... Seems, seems God, perfectly speak. normal to me. I don't know what... I, honestly, I just... Don't you understand the technology? I'm going to go make a special don't... room out of wood. <laughs> it's called a shed. <laughs> Oh, dear. I don't know why I bother. <laughs> I don't know why I bother. No, listen, uh, we got, wait, that's enough talk about pigeons' brains. This, um, is, this is, by the way, stop. by the way, this is a, a well-recognised new <laughs> development in the world of um, medicine called uh, magnetogenetics. Is it? And it's when you take out magnetic brains right. you, you, and, and transfer uh, them into humans. Yeah. It's true. I'm sure it's very well known. And everyone is going to be doing it soon. Talk sport. And it's in! A diving header at the end of a 50-yard run. From the root to the tip. Talk sport.